Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another decluttering video. I am tackling my master bathroom today. So as you can see, it needed some major TLC. I've been meaning to film this video for a while, so it feels good to finally get it done. Next up on my list is my master closet. It is in major need. It's definitely my Monica's closet of our house. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, here's an overview of all the drawers and our bathroom closet. So I'm gonna start out by just removing everything and tackling one space at a time. I found that that is the best way to get things done. That way you're not overwhelmed. So just pick one area, take everything out, clean it, and then put it back in and organize it that way. It just works out a lot better. So even though the towels were folded, I'm gonna take them out and fold them all really nicely and then I'll come back in for the rest of the stuff. Alright, here's an overview of the empty closet. It looks so much bigger now. So I do keep a lot of essential items in there and you can see everything that's laid out. I keep all of my cleaning supplies and then like my extra stuff like extra lotions, soaps, all of my towels. So it's quite a lot for one closet. So I'm going to try to downsize, throw away anything I don't need. But first, I'm going to wipe down those shelves in the closet. So I'm taking my Method Antibac bathroom cleaner to disinfect. But first, I'm going to use my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray and the peony scent. Whenever you're disinfecting, you want to make sure to read the label and see what it calls for. Um, for this one here, I needed to wipe down the surface beforehand, so that's what I'm doing now. And then I can put the antibac on and let it sit for 10 minutes. All cleaners are different, so just make sure to check the instructions on the back to see how you can properly disinfect. Now I'm going to go through our medicine bin. This holds all of our medicine from mine, Taylor's, and Brooks's. So I'm separating everything that's expired, that needs to go in the trash, and then things I'm keeping. And the things that I'm keeping, I'm separating by type. So I also got this little turntable from Walmart. It's like a two-tiered little organizer. It's in the organizing section, kind of by the bedding in Walmart. And I love it. I wish I had them all over my house, but I'm just going to organize the medicine separately, like Brooks's stuff together, ibuprofen, allergy stuff, and then I'll put some of the bigger things in the bottom. minutes is up on my spray that I put on my shelves so I'm going to wipe that off and then we will continue on. I know I can't be the only one who has an oversupply of Bath & Body Works. <laughs> Let me know if I'm the only one but I do have a ton of lotions that still look good, are completely full. So I've got this little bin from TJ Maxx. It's just like a wooden, it has a little chalkboard sign in the front and it has handles. So it's really sturdy and I thought this one would be good for heavier stuff such as lotions and sprays. So I'm just gonna organize all of them in here and I love that I could just go in and look for one or even like my mom is staying with us. So if she needs one, I can just go grab one real quick. I know where every everything's at and then I could also throw away ones that are like barely have any product left and it's just good to take inventory of what you have and then I did rearrange this so I added a bunch of soaps in there as well and then I grabbed another bin and I put all of my necessity things in there and I always go to Sam's and stock up on bars of soap 
That and toothpaste are really the only things that I keep in extra hand on. So let me know what things you get from Sam's and that you always have on hand as well. Like I said, I had Bath & Body Works soap as well, so I'm going to add these to my Bath & Body Works bin. I think that's what I'm just going to call it since there is so much. But I used to for years, I would stock up on all of the sales that Bath & Body Works had. And actually the one in my town went out of business. So it's been a blessing and a curse because I can't just run in and get them. I pretty much have to order or drive about 45 minutes away to get any sort of Bath & Body. So fun fact. Now I'm going to sweep out the closet and that little area first. That way I can put everything back in. So I just have my good old broom and dustpan, old fashioned, and I'm going to just sweep it up and then steam mop it. That way it can get really nice and clean. This steam mop is from Shark and I do have it listed in my Amazon store. I'll have that linked in the description box, but it is my new favorite thing. All it takes is water and I always add in some essential oil. Today I put in some lemon so it smells so good and it disinfects with just the hot water. And I put it on the scrub setting for my tile and it works like a charm. While that dries, I'm going to tackle my towels and washcloths and all that good stuff. So at first, I'm just separating all of them out and seeing if some of them need to go to the kitchen or other bathrooms, and then I'm just gonna refold them. This part is kind of boring, but it really does make all the difference. Back into the bathroom, I'm going to tackle the cleaning portion of the closet and I did have some more Clorox wands that I put into that little container. I found some that are purple so the toilet bowl water will turn purple and they smell like lavender. I'm really excited to use those. If you guys want to see me use them, stay tuned for my next cleaning video. I'll definitely have that in there, but I always keep this Menards bucket full of cleaning supplies that I can take from bathroom to bathroom. That way I don't have to like gather everything up. I can just grab it and go and it makes my life a lot easier. So I'm just putting everything in there and then I'll start organizing the closet. Now I'm going to do the drawers in our vanity and this top one is the most used drawer for me. This is all of my stuff and I'm so embarrassed you guys. It's just thrown in there. I don't even know what's going on. So I found this little organizer at Target. I believe it was $8 and it's actually for I think your kitchen. So it's over by like the mugs and organization stuff at Target and it was such a good deal. So I'm just putting everything that are essential items things that I absolutely use every day and nothing more that way it doesn't get cluttered like it has in the past and I also wanted to mention have you guys tried native deodorant oh my goodness I was kind of scared of the all-natural deodorants not gonna lie because I hate smelling bad and I feel like the ones I tried in the past have never worked but the native one actually works and I am obsessed. So I got the coconut flavored one and it's really good. It is a little bit more expensive than normal deodorant, but it's totally worth it without having all of those harsh chemicals.
once everything's out, I'm going to take that Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray, spray it out, and then wipe it down with a paper towel. And I did want to mention, you guys have probably noticed, I have gloves on throughout this video. I always, always clean with gloves because even if I use natural cleaning products, my hands are so sensitive since I have eczema and they will flare up instantly. So if you guys have sensitive hands as well, try powdered free gloves. I've been using just regular ones and I find that my hands are still a little sensitive. So getting the powder free ones has really made a difference for me. Here it is. I think it looks so much better and so organized. So since I do have some room in the very back, I'm going to put things that I don't use very often, but that I need to have on hand. So miniature contact solutions and cases. And then I'm also going to keep my boxes of contact lenses on the side. That way it'll also hold this organizer in place. I also keep my glasses in my case down below as well as my makeup eraser. All right, this one needed the most work. It was so bad. So I'm going to start out by pulling everything out. And I just have a grocery bag on hand that I can throw anything that I don't need away. I had products in there that were years old that really had no business in me keeping. So I'm just going through everything, sorting it out like I did earlier by like skincare, teeth whitening products, lotions, tanning stuff. I just put everything into sections, decided what I was going to keep. If something felt like it was getting close to empty or was empty, I went ahead and tossed it because there is no reason in it just taking up space and never getting used. So I find that less is more when it comes to all of my beauty products because if I have a ton of stuff down here, chances are I'm not even going to grab anything because it's too much of a hassle to go through and sort through everything so if I have it minimal I can see what I have a lot more clearly and I'm more apt to reach for things I also wanted to mention that I got these little organizing bins from Target around the beginning of the school year, so last fall, and they always have really good deals on like dorm stuff and organization. However, Dollar Tree has this kind of stuff out all year round and it's a lot cheaper. Now it's not as sturdy, but it gets the job done. I have all Dollar Tree organizers in my pantry and they've held up great. So definitely go check out Dollar Tree if you want to do this on a budget. I had a lot of skincare that was little and it's hard to keep it all organized I just took one of my travel cases and I'm putting all of my skincare in one section and then I'm gonna put all of my teeth whitening stuff in the bottom section and then I'm gonna even use the little spot on top for like extra toenail clippers and stuff like that so you can see it's all just in one bag if I need something I can grab it out look for what I need and stick it back in that way it's not in bins and I'm I'm just gonna wipe my bins down because they were pretty gross they had just like lotion and stuff on the bottom of them or stuff that had spilled it's just good to wipe them out every now and then it's probably been almost a year since I've done this which is so bad so they definitely needed it 
I'm also wiping out underneath the cabinet and if I was thinking I would have grabbed a waterproof mat to stick down here next time I go to the store I'm gonna get some because I feel like it would have just less chance of water damage in the long run and then I'm going to put all of my lotions and stuff back into the bins. Pretty much things that I use on a regular basis, I'm gonna put up front. That way I'm not having to reach over other products to get to it daily. And it's just gonna make my life a lot easier. Now that that's done, I'm going to work on the other drawers. And the second drawer, I don't use a whole lot, so I'm gonna try to think of a way to utilize it better because the bottom drawer is like stuffed to the max. I couldn't hardly even open it if you've seen that in the beginning of the clip. So I have a curling iron from Numi and it's an octa wand and it has a bunch of different attachments, but in this case, it's a little bit bulky. So I'm going to try to make it a little more efficient. And then I also have a ton of Monet hair products, um, little miniature shampoos and styling products. So what I'm gonna do is take a bag and put all of my travel size stuff in there because I don't use those very often. And if I do go on a trip, I'll know exactly where they're at. And then I'm going to keep things that I don't use every day in the bottom drawer. And then I'm gonna move the ones that I do use daily to the middle drawer. That way I'm not like having to shuffle through and see which products I need. Last but not least, I have Taylor's little cabinet, and honestly, he is so low maintenance. He doesn't take a whole lot of products or anything like that, so I'm just going to bring everything out, see if anything needs thrown away, and I'm going to give it a good wipe down, wipe down any of the products that have gotten a little bit dirty, and then I will organize it again. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I'm not gonna do the tub and the shower yet. I'm gonna save that for another spring cleaning video whenever I spring clean the inside of my house. I'm gonna find some products that really get into the tile and grout. So if you guys wanna see that, stay tuned. But I'm starting out by just wiping down my shelves and anything that is on there. And then I'm also going to disinfect my vanity. So first step, I'm going to spray it down with a multi-purpose spray, give it a good wipe down, and then I'll go in with the method disinfecting spray. If you guys want to get your hands on any of these cleaning products, I will have my Grove Collaborative link down below. If you guys are a first time customer, you can sign up, spend $20 and you will get a free five piece set. It changes every so often, but most of the time it always has some sort of Mrs. Myers products and that is the multi-surface spray that I've been using. So if you guys want to get some and refresh your house or if you're unable to get them at the stores right now, I know it's kind of crazy as far as cleaning products go then look into Grove Collaborative. I just ordered some disinfecting wipes to have on hand and they were fully stocked.
that being said i guess i will go ahead and address like what's been going on for us since we are homebound since this virus has went around and there have been confirmed cases in our area so we are laying low and trying to just practice the best hygiene that we can and social distancing so i'm definitely praying for everybody that it's affected and just praying for everybody's sanity as they stay home um, if you guys want me to pray for anything specifically just let me know i definitely would know that these are really uncertain times but just trust that god is in control and everybody just lean on each other and get through this time i know that we will come out of it stronger and also just take this time to enjoy being home if you have a new recipe that you want to try out make it do crafts with your kids go for walks just spend time as a family at home and just slow down a little bit i think that it's going to be really nice and I'm honestly enjoying it, but I know that it does get a little stir crazy staying at home 24 seven. So go for a drive and just get out of the house and that can clear your mind and do so much good. So I'm definitely practicing those things. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not gonna mention it anymore. I just wanted to address it since I haven't yet on my channel, but definitely be praying for everyone and I will do the same. getting close to being done so I'm gonna clean out my trash can and you guys can disinfect this as well if you'd like I'm just giving a, a quick wipe down since I disinfect it pretty often and I always have just a bag that I can throw the trash away and everything and then I'm also going to put a wallflower in this is the gingham scent from Bath & Body Works and it smells so good. So it feels good to have a fresh bathroom that smells nice. And I'm also going to just sweep the floors real quick and then put my rugs back. As you guys can see, I had so much trash, eight little sacks full, three big trash bags. It was crazy for just this little space. So I feel like it has cleared my mind. It makes me not feel overwhelmed whenever I go into the bathroom or go to look for something. So if you guys needed the motivation to clean out a space in your house, I hope that this motivated you. And definitely tag me if you guys clear out a space in your home over on Instagram. My handle is just Kaylin underscore cash. And I would love to see what you guys tackle while you're home it really does feel so good so stay tuned for videos coming up i've got lots more spring cleaning and i think my next video will be a spring home tour i've already done a spring clean and decorate with me which was so much fun but i think now i'm going to do a full house tour of areas that i've decorated for spring i always do that around christmas time as well and you guys seem to like it so let me know if you are excited for that video and I always post on Instagram in real time like what I'm up to what I'm doing and I'm really active over there so if you guys want to connect with me more definitely go follow me over there and shoot me a message I would be so excited to hear from you guys if you guys like this video make sure to give me a comment down below like it and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification that way you're notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys in my next one bye